And also, I want to talk about women and menopause. Now, before you go, oh, Burbs, listen, just just hear me out, because I know some people will go, uh, it's really important that we just understand what is happening to a woman in the second phase of her brilliant life. So that's what we're going to have a little chat about. And I'm going to get an author on called Jane McPherson. She's written a cracking book. And I don't care if you're a man, woman, family member, everybody should understand what's happening to a woman's body. She's not going crazy or losing her mind. BBC Three Counties Radio There is a brilliant book by Jane McPherson. It's called You Part Two, Thriving in the Second Half of Your Life. And I've got her on the phone. Hello, Jane. Hello, Babs. How are you? I'm all right. I love talking to you. I've, ch- I've spoken to you a couple of times. And <laughs> yeah. yeah, and you just keep it real about the menopause. <laughs> well, it's very real. <laughs> well, <laughs> some, of the, some of the words that have been described uh, or attributed to the menopause in my friendship group are, I mm. thought I'd gone mad. Am mm. I losing my mind? Uh, yep. so there's some of the phrases. Um, yep. I'm a horrible person. I yep. I have no more patience. <laughs> yeah, the list goes on. It just it? goes on yep. and on and on. And I the reason um, that I've got Jane on, and I've got one of the Real Housewives of Cheshire coming on later, Rachel Lugo, right. um, because she quite famously said, "Menopause isn't that for old women." So yes. me and her are going to yes. have some words. That would be interesting. Yeah, she's changed. Yeah, I know, right? So she's changed her tune, right? And she's waving the, the menno flag now. But, Brilliant. Yeah, but that's later on. However, um, it's World Menopause Day tomorrow. And okay. I think that the problem with the, uh, this whole subject and perimenopausal and menopause, you say it and you can almost hear, you know, people's brains just shutting down or their yep. ears closing yep. off because they go, yep. oh, God, no. What, what are you here saying? We, here we go again. Yeah. Yep. Well, yeah. What are you saying? Oh, God, no, mm. to because mm. if you if you're in a relationship with a woman or you have a daughter or a, everyone's got a mum, right, yep. then this is going to have some bearing on your life. So you should understand it. You know, have a bit of compassion, understand what's happening to a woman's body. Exactly. I mean, when we talk about it in the book, we talk about, you know, how, you know, teenagers, they go through these massive hormonal changes and we give them a lot of space. Yeah. You know, we walk around them on eggshells and, and we're going through as, as, you know, when you're going through perimenopause, you're going through it the same hormonal swings and changes that a teenager and and yet you know we don't we just sort of carry on regardless and hope that everything is going to be okay until it's not okay and um, i think it's fantastic that women are talking about it and as you said we all know women whether it's our our mothers or whether we're as our daughter you know or our daughters are going to become more aware of what their mothers or their aunties or their you know sisters are going through it's really really important that we keep having the conversation that we keep talking about it do you think jane it's a bit like um a certain there's a certain um generation and i'm going to say mm. i think sort of in the 70s and 80s there are mm. there are certain things that they didn't talk about you never Absolutely. talked about like menopause cancer you weren't allowed yeah. to even say yeah. the word, were no, you? No, all taboo. Yeah. All taboo. I think, I mean, if I, if I look back to my, you know, my dear mum, um, she called it the change. And it is, yeah. we go through massive amounts of change. And, and it was just something you get on with. And I know she, she struggled. She struggled with depression, just with the hot flushes. Um, she felt very anxious. I know she got joint pains and, and really felt really very unwell. And yet you just didn't talk about it. And um, I know that she suffered. You certainly, you know, didn't talk about it in terms of HRT or anything like that wasn't, you know, certainly wasn't around. So, yes, I agree. I think that generation, I think, had it really tough. And I, mm. I think we've learned from that generation and that we do talk about it. And we and knowledge is power, isn't it? If we yes. know what, if we know what's going on, if we know what the sort of things that we that, that are facing is, it's really normal. And I think the fact is that it's something that we 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 can we could if we if we know about it we can research it we can see what works for us we can talk to our friends we can talk to other women 
And um, and I think it's really, really healthy. And I'm delighted that, that, that we are doing that. Well, yeah. And just that whole talking and being open about it and not, mm. you know, for people going through it, for women going through it, don't be embarrassed. It's not your fault. No. It's just biology. No. It's normal. Yeah. It's normal. It's absolutely normal. And, you know, look, there are going to be some women who go through me- through perimenopause and they won't get any symptoms at all. And great. I am so happy for them. Um, but, um, you know, it is it for a lot of women. Um, it's it's a huge time of change and a lot of women still I mean I think there was there was a study wasn't there, about 75 percent of women aged between 35 and 60 still feel that it's a taboo subject we've still got a way to go we've yeah. still got a way to go um, but the fact is that we are talking about it now and there's a lot more knowledge as I mean there's a lot of you know celebrities are talking about it and 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 that's a, that's a good thing but the fact is it's normal it's yeah. going to happen to you, Do you know, <laughs> some one of, of the us are going to feel things, it more than others but it's going to happen yeah one of the biggest things that I realized not that long ago to be honest is that if you're having, if say, say for example, you're in a relationship, uh, mm. male, female, you're in a relationship mm. Mm. and your partner is, is going through the menopause, you don't talk about it, maybe she doesn't talk about it, and then yeah. she's having all of these symptoms and, and, and things yeah. and that yeah. affects your relationship. But because you're yeah. not talking about it, yeah. you think, well, she used to be, she never used to have a temper like this or, yeah. Yeah. you know, whatever. It, and that affects your relationship and people break up, don't they? They do, and I think you know some of the some of the symptoms of of menopause. You know, it can be anxiety and depression. Yeah. It can be panic attacks, huge bouts of sadness, and 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 absolutely, you know, there's huge amounts of change. So as you say, if someone your partner might be might be the different a different person to someone that you knew, you know, you've known in previous years, and and you're right, that can cause you know real problems with the relationship. And unless we acknowledge that these are these are things that are happening, and that it's normal, and that we can do something about it um, together, then um, you're right. These you know people suffer, continue to suffer, and that's that's really sad. And that's why I wanted to get you on because you talk about it in plain English. And and yes. also if there if there is, you know, maybe a man listening thinking, actually, mm. this mm. might be you might mm. have a bit more empathy than mm. like, oh, you're really moody all the time or what yeah. you know, you yeah. might have a little bit more empathy because it'll pass. It's happened to me and do you know and my boyfriend John has to do this with me, Jane. He goes, like he'll say something. And somewhere in my brain, I don't know what happens, uh, the synapses don't work and, I, and I'll bite no. his head off straight yeah. away. I, like, yeah. I'd go for him and yeah. bless him. And then he'll just look at me and he'll go, all right, mm. I'm mm. just, I'm just, and yeah. then, and the minute he does that, I go, I'm so sorry, I'm so yeah. sorry, I'm sorry, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. Now that, if we hadn't talked about it, that could be a massive row and that could, could. rumble on for days. It but could. because he just, he sort of gets it, even though I've almost flame, sort of flamethrowed <laughs> him in the face <laughs> like a dragon. I hear your pain. I yeah. absolutely understand. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah, you're yeah, absolutely right. And I think, um, I think men, you know, the great, I mean, I'm hoping World Menopause Day is, you know, men will, you know, will learn from it as well yeah. as women. Because yeah. I think you're right. It's, it's, you know, when you're when you're in a relationship with someone that and and you are changing, you you and also I think when you're going through these symptoms, it can be such an anxious time. And to have yeah. someone who loves you, support you, and understand and and give you a bit of space and and you know and maybe you know so run your hot bath or mm. you know maybe cook dinner occasionally, you know, it would be a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> and actually recognizes that you need to rest. You really yeah. need to rest. Right, you know, recognizing that um, you know your energy does take a real hit. Yeah. Um, you know, you could be facing a lot of um, you know issues with 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 bleeding and with joint pain and all of physical issues, but also these mental issues as well. And I think yes, as I said, knowledge is key. Knowledge for everybody, men and women, to to help you know people to accept and to and to. I ask, the other thing I, I would like to say, um, as I, as you know, I'm quite an optimist, is that it's such an exciting time, though, as well. It's not all bad. It, you know, as you said, you get through it, 
But actually, it can be an enormous liber- enormously liberating. I am delighted. I don't have a period anymore. Yeah, delighted. yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and, um, and actually, if we look after ourselves, you know, as our book says, the second half of your life, you know, we're going to be around for a while. And, and um, good. Well, I'm, I'm certainly anticipating. I hope I'm going to be around for a while. Um, but, but you know, we if we can accept where we are, we can help ourselves. Whether it's through medication, or whether, in my case, of course, it's through using yoga as a therapy to help us um, calm our moods and and help with our joint pain and keep our keep us nice and mobile and, and feeling well. You know, if we can do that, there's enormous benefits on on feeling energized and and we've you know hopefully the kids have gone off hopefully i know that doesn't happen all the time um but you know there is opportunities and in fact so many women who are going through who have gone through the menopause they think oh okay i've got the rest of my life here and and it's enormous i'm so inspired by women who you know they go off and they might whether it's being volunteering or whether it's starting a business or or getting involved in all other creative things that perhaps they've never done before. Mm. There's, it's a huge opportunity to, um, you know, as I say in the book, it's our time as well. And, and I talk about the fourth wave of feminism as well. Um, Jane, uh, yeah. it's, yes. it's always a pleasure to talk to you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I wish Thank I had you. about an hour. I wish I had about an hour, we Jane. Could. I'm so sorry. But it's look, Jane McPherson, and she wrote Thank this you. book with her husband, Campbell McPherson, right? So, you know, the two of them wrote this together. So you might really learn something from it. Maybe buy it yourself. Maybe read it with your other half. It's called You Part Two, Thriving in the Second Half of Your Life. Thank you so much, Jane. It's always a pleasure. Always a, always a pleasure. Thanks, Bab. Bye, love. Bye.